Good morning, good afternoon, good night, everybody. Uh, it's 8.30 in the morning. I'm very tired, but we're actually at Busch Gardens Tampa for a media event. They have new stuff coming up on the horizon, and we're going to check it out. I, I literally have no idea what I'm doing here. I don't know what's going to happen, so it should be fun. We're in Busch Gardens before the park opened. We're heading over to a theater for our presentation. I'm joined with Krista. Hey. Funny thing is she's never uh, been to Busch Gardens ever. Okay. It's literally November 2nd, so like we're in that weird transitional phase where all the theme parks are getting rid of Halloween decorations and putting Christmas. I know they're talking about stuff today, but like, do you think they're gonna actually let us ride something? That'd be fun. Oh, I hope so. I know. That'd be really fun. I mean, at this point, we might just have to buy a ticket. <laughs> Aw, the penguins are awake this morning. I think a bird got out of its area. That's a big turkey. Hey! Bird. Good morning. I legitimately can't tell you the last time I was in Bush Gardens. <laughs> so far away. I know. Completely lost the group. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know where we are. <laughs> Krista just got excited because there's free food. <laughs> oh, I think I'm seeing some Christmas here. Oh, we're getting into the holiday spirit. I should have realized that this was going to have some Christmas theming to it. Look at this though. We got hot chocolate with peppermint toppings right here. Thank you so much. And then what are these? Sparkling wine with cranberry or sparkling wine with blue curacao. Ooh, um, I, yeah, I'll, I'll take a sparkling wine with cranberry. Just because it's so pretty. Um, I'm going to start with this. Come back if you want one. Thank you. you come back and get as much as you want. Hey, Krista, cheers. cheers. Good morning. Cheers. Happy Christmas. Happy Chris Christmas. This is your favorite holiday, right? Christmas Chris is trying to make me like fall in love with Christmas. So I mean, hey, this is a good start to the month. I'll say that. <laughs> it's a great start. It looks like we're getting a little preview of the holiday snacks and treats that we will be eating during this season. Soup pork fried rice, smoked turkey, braised beef, Brussels sprouts, bright heart, dark chocolate peppermint pretzels. All the cupcakes. This whole area has been decorated for the holidays. Even like this little photo op spot right here. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> this is us trying to make a thumbnail. Uh, shoot. Oh. Look at all that cute merchandise. We got Rudolph and the female version of Rudolph. I don't, do you know, do you know that character's name? I didn't know there was a female Rudolph. I mean, she's cute. She, she, there's a female Rudolph, but I don't remember her name. Yeah, I like her. And you got the abominable snowman or uh, the Yeti. I don't, I don't know his name. I'm sorry, I'm not used to this uh, property. We have made our way into this little theater area. And uh, Chris is just vibing. <laughs> How's the hot chocolate? Is it better now? Best morning ever. <laughs> Phoenix Rising. That's a ride. Um, so we're really excited about this. Uh, this family friendly. Um, uh, suspended co thrill coaster. Um, it's going to be a great addition to our Pantopia uh, portion of the park, which is right outside of this building where we are now. 42 inch height requirement. It's going to be a great ride. You know, we're really looking forward to having this ride out there. I think it's going to be, like I said, a great addition to what we have here at the park. This will be our 10th roller coaster here at the park. And um, as we go into 24, our talented cast will bring back Turn It Up Remix for spring, but then we're very, very excited uh, to be working on a new production. Uh, timeline planned right now is for opening summer of 24. There are several different animals we plan to eventually have here on the stage. And what we're really excited about is that we're going to be able to share with you their individual stories or tales. So today, what we're gonna do is we're going to share with you a couple of the animal stars that are starting to uh, interact with us in such a way that we can hopefully have them on stage on November 11th, our opening day. And we're gonna start by introducing you to Edgar. Edgar is an Eastern screech owl, and he is one of those rescues that we talked about. In the last five decades, Bush Gardens and our sister parks have been a part of rescuing more than 40,000 animals. Because one of the cool things about echidnas is they're mammals, but they lay eggs. I'm not echidna in you. Uh. I said it was a family-friendly show. There's plenty of puns and dad jokes in Bush Gardens Animal Tales. They were one of the first animals put on the endangered species list. Uh, and now they're doing just fine. Uh, they are all over the place and they have a really important job in our ecosystem as well. 
They're going to be uh, controlling a lot of populations from the top down. These guys are apex predators, right? Cookie. Yum. I'm actually really hungry. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Of course. Now we are heading over to like the construction site, the new uh, roller coaster. Now it's like new and they haven't really done anything. So it'll just be dirt. Hi. Thank you. Hard hat. Boop, 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 boop. Hard hat check. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually worn one before because you know I've never really studied never construction. construction I'm not an engineer. <laughs> I'm a counselor. Now a vlogger. It's, really bright. it's bright, but this is fun. Wait, 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 wait. Hit my head. Ah. <laughs> if y'all are ever curious about what a construction site looks like when it comes to a roller coaster, this is it. Right now there's really not that much at all, but this will be a roller coaster. You know, it'll be fun though. We see how it is right now. We definitely got to come back when it opens up because like, like, hey, we were here when nothing was here. <laughs> and they do have a kids area called Castaway Falls coming to Adventure Island, their water park. That's terrifying. It goes like all the way flat. I didn't realize it went all the way like yeah. Superman. That's crazy. Wait, come on. <laughs> so a quick morning with Bush Gardens talking about future stuff in 2024, but now we're kind of just like, what do we do? <laughs> they, they were just like, have a good day, and we were like, do we stay? In case you're thinking about rope dropping Bush Gardens, some rides do have a delayed opening. Falcons Ferry opens 30 minutes after the park officially opens. We will definitely have to come back here during the holiday season at nighttime. You can see they already have Christmas uh, lights hanging. Everybody look! They have a Christmas train. And people are on that roller coaster already, the cheetah, I think. That's so cool that they decorated for it. Good morning. <laughs> the Serengeti Express. The train station is ready for Christmas. One thing I do remember is their roller coasters here are a lot of fun. And no one was on that, so we really gotta get moving. I better look at the Nutcracker. It has a little elephant on top, that's cute. This officially marks the first reef I've seen of the whole season. The first reef I've seen in all of Florida, in the world, of 2023. Right little, there. It's a cheetah reef. It's a cheetah reef. Dang. Bush Garden was not messing around when it came to Christmas. They got all their stuff up already. Oh, there, that was cheetah. Good morning, cheetah. Cheetah hunt. I've been on this, I think, twice. Good ride. First time you ever going on a ride. We'll get your opinion after. I'm excited. It's a, it's a walk on. Your first ever Bush Gardens ride cheetah hunt. That was really fun. Did you like it? I, it was really fun. I asked Jojo, I was like, does it go upside down? He's like, no, I don't think so. We went upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah! I like that launch in the beginning. Yeah, it was Obviously really fun. the idea, it's supposed to make you feel like you're a cheetah going really fast. Yeah, well, and it had, like, I think it had three separate launches yeah. throughout the coaster, so it was really fun. It's a good one. And it. the fact we only waited no no time, we just I walked mean, on. It was, the coaster was there. We just walked it was into great. the first row. It was great. <laughs> What a great way to start the day. But honestly, one thing I want to do in Bush Gardens, which I've never done before personally, is Iron Gwazi. I, I don't know how I haven't ridden on it. Everyone has said it is such a good roller coaster. It rivals Velocicoaster at Universal Studios Orlando. So we're going to do that right now. And hopefully, right now. hopefully it's a walk on as well. Welcome to the front of the park. We went in like a back entrance, but this is like, yeah, this is, this is the main entrance right here. Like right over there, you come in, and then yeah. Ah. Yeah. Wait, wait, we come. Somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> it's bright and early in the morning still, but I can see all the Christmas lights. So yeah, it's definitely happening. It's finally time for Iron Guazi. Like I'm actually shocked it took me this long to get here, but hey, better late than never. Look, they have like Iron Guazi themed ornaments. Like the color scheme is the same, you know. How did they do this this quick? When did they set this up? Yay, 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 Iron Guazi, Krista. 
You ready? Yes. First I cheetah and then this. That's know, crazy. You're doing all the not. big rides. All the cool rides. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we got more Christmas ornaments on. By the way, we did get a locker for today. It cost 10 bucks for like a multi-use locker that we can transfer to each ride. So not too bad. We love to see it. We're moving and grooving. I like to see it. Waking up early this morning was totally worth it for Bush Gardens. I think it's just a nice time to be here. You know, the Halloween season is over. The Christmas season hasn't started yet. So you just got a lot of local Florida uh, pass holders coming through I feel like today and us hey <laughs> oh this is so cool apparently this roller coaster goes faster and slower depending on what time of day it is because by the end of the day the wood is hotter I don't know if that's true let me know down below I think a guazi is an alligator oh is it an alligator well I mean that's the guazi looks like an alligator no That's a cute mug. Hey, did you enjoy the ride? Oh my gosh, that was crazy. First of all, I think that might have been the fastest roller coaster I've ever been on my entire life. Okay, all I could think of myself is like, wait, this is really fast. <laughs> yeah. Like it just wouldn't slow down. It yeah. was just like, like you know how a lot of roller coasters is like really fast and then it, and then it goes really fast again because it relaunches. It was just an intense ride. Just, the an intense ride the whole way through. It was that was fun. I was not expecting it to be that intense. The vertical drop ride in the beginning was so much fun. It was so fast that like I just started crying. Like I felt water coming out of my eyes. So again, another great way to wake up. I was yawning before we got onto it just because we woke up so early. But that was a lot of fun and I can't even imagine what it's like at nighttime. And next time I go on it, I want to go on the back because that's probably insane. Let me know down below. Do you like the front or back more? I feel like the front's a good experience, but the back is just better. Seriously, I didn't realize you go like straight down. You can see right here. That's when I actually was like, oh shoot, this ride might be a little intense. No. Straight down. So much fun. No. Random Bush Gardens merch. You can see a bunch of the <laughs> coasters um, between Cheek and Iron Guazi. I have to say, I think I like Iron Guazi more, but Cheetah's like literally my second favorite. Uh, Falcon's Fury is insane, but I really like Cobra's Curse. There's a lot of good rides here, honestly. All of these are fun ones. Chris, Chris you gotta. You, you gotta put it down. Wait, wait, we're not gonna carry that around. Maybe for Christmas. I turned around for one second and I lost Krista. She's in a gift shop. Hey, boo. <laughs> Aw. Low key, I already miss Halloween. I have no idea where I am. Um, I don't know where we're going. I don't know how to get anywhere. I have no idea where the front is. But, in good news, there's birds. They straight up just be chilling. Where do you think their names are? I don't know. They probably have a name. This is definitely the weirdest week for theme parks because they're transitioning from Halloween to Christmas. But literally, like, look, you got the rave yard, the tombstones in the distance, but then right next to it, Christmas trees. Look at all the flamingos. Yeah. Aw. <laughs> yeah, I like this a lot. This is cute. Look at Elmo. Look at Big Bird. Look at him go. I know. I'm surprised how much they've actually turned over for Christmas already. They have Elmo's Christmas Wish. I don't know if that show's beginning yet, but right now they're doing little meet and greets. There's Elmo. This area is cute. Uh, it's obviously meant for kids. I like the little eyes on the houses. The remnants of <laughs> the spooky season. Whoa. This scare zone is crazy. You should. Give me your best like hiss. Like, like a va you're a vampire. 
Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it was more a cat. Lori Landing Interactive Bird Experience. You want to go in? Not particularly. Um, I don't love birds over my head. I feel like this is like a signature. You gotta do it if you're here at Bush Gardens. We'll just do a quick walk through. Birds. Okay. You don't like this? That guy's a bow. Yeah. <laughs> Usually what I do is I just go up to them and I like rest them like feel on my arm and then they just pop up from there. That's so cool, he's just chilling. <laughs> no, he really is. Hey, it's What's up? Wait, did you see him look at you? That was crazy. <laughs> that is such a huge macaw. Look at that thing. Hello, birdie. It's so pretty. It's massive. I definitely regret not coming to Howl Scream. Next year for sure. I like all the pumpkins. We've been in the park for about three hours now. How's your first take of this place? This place is huge. Like, we walked forever from the entrance that we got here to, to that auditorium. Like, literally forever. I haven't seen that side since we left it. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea where we are. I have no idea how I would even get back to that spot. Like, it just keeps going. We just keep turning corners and there's just more park. Look at that plane. <laughs> These poor unfortunate souls. <laughs> I got some water, huh? It's around 12.30 and I must say, even though we got here early, like, the park's not busy at all today. This is really nice. Yeah, it's not busy. It's a beautiful day. You can feel the breeze. I don't know. I think Bush Garden's a little slept on at times. I mean, I know I sleep on it. They have like everything here. I've never even seen this ride in operation. As you can see, all the rides are basically walk-on. Honestly, we kind of messed up. Today would have been a perfect day to do all the rides. Oh, wow, it's actually really fun. You can always come back. Though. Yeah, more remnants of spooky. Ooh, I see Christmas though. Welcome to Jungala. I love the ornaments. Oh my gosh. Hey, he's so fuzzy. Isn't that crazy? Oh my god, he's just like, he's just, look at him. Look at him go. He's gonna breathe. What if he fell? I mean, he definitely could fall, but he's... I he, know. That's his life. He's used to the streets. Yeah, he is used to the streets. You're right. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what I do like about Bush Gardens, how one second on the roller coaster, the next there's a freaking monkey or an orangutan right there. And also, to your left is Tiger. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, hello, Tiger. Place. You and your Why animals. Come here more? I don't know. <laughs> Tiger. He's waking up. Wait, what am I? Was he smiling? He's waking up. Oh um, my gosh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hi. It's just wow. a big kitty. I did not know this either, but they have a Chick-fil-A. Chick they have a Chick-fil-A here. Why don't we come here more? May I reinstate? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They have a Chick-fil-A in the park. That's almost better than Starbucks. And we haven't eaten. I know. We haven't eaten, so maybe we hopefully they're open. I really hope they're open. Also. <laughs> Candy canes, Christmas trees. This is everything you want. You got a, a big kitty, Christmas, and Chick-fil-A. Last time I was here, this definitely was not here. <laughs> we are eating right now. If anyone has any connections with Chick-fil-A, I would love to be sponsored by them. This is the first time ever vlogging Chick-fil-A. This is something we usually just do off camera. Yeah, Chick-fil-A is our life. Like, it's just, it's really good. I'm gonna get the spicy chicken sandwich. So this is like a smaller Chick-fil-A, but listen, I'm happy with it. It'll get the job done. Food was good. I just, I love how empty it is. Like, <laughs> I remember last time this bridge was just filled with people. The River Rapids is open. <laughs> uh, Chris, do you want to go on a River Rapids ride? That rapid has no one in it. There's a reason for that. That's fair. <laughs> it looks pretty cool though. I've never been on this. Another day. Look how beautiful this place looks right now. <laughs> like, I can't get over the weather. This is it's crazy. It's really nice out. Yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna go on the roller coaster right here. Next up is Komba. Krista, somehow this became like the best day ever to come to Bush Gardens. You're just walking onto everything. You're spoiled. <laughs>
most intense. <laughs> oh man. I think that was my favorite ride of the day so far, honestly. Was it? I just, again, just because it's strapped over you and you, just so many loops. Like it was constantly just yeah. like honestly, intense ones. I think that one was my least favorite. Why? The earrings get stuck on like the uh, arm. So it was like, if I, as my head was You were getting banged the earrings. Yeah, it felt yeah. like they were gonna come out. Because all the other roller coasters ear. were like laps, laps yeah. Restraints. I think that's why I like this one more because it was this, so you can be more intense. But I'm glad you're okay. Oh, I'm great. It was fun. Yeah. I just think that like <laughs> I either need to take on my earrings or like stay away from the 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 over ones, over yeah. Ones, yeah. I was looking for where to go next, and I turned around and I was like, "What the heck?" <laughs> we came in here. We went up here. Went to this theater here came back down, looped around the Iron Gloss, and went all the way up here, and now we're here. And we gotta get down here, because the last ride I wanna go on is Cobra's Curse, because this one's just a fun one to be on. And for Chris's first time, she has to do it. It'll be fun, it's like, uh, it's not as intense, but... I'm, no, I... I'm excited for you to see this one. Yeah, I, I saw it when we came, like we walked, walked past it earlier, yeah. so I'm excited to do that one. Seriously though, everyone, if you want me to come back and ride every single ride in this park, I will definitely do it for y'all. Get this video to at least 2,000 likes, we'll make it happen. Imagine me getting like Jeet, maybe Swoozy, Matt, Ferris, a bunch of my friends, and of course Krista coming back here. 2,000 likes, and we'll do all rides here. 2,000, that's easy. Come on, guys, like the video. It's weird because it's like the tiniest roller coaster, but it's still pretty intense. <laughs> It's like kids can ride this one. Look to your left. Oh my god, it's an elephant. <laughs> it's an elephant. It's so crazy to me that they're so close. Like what? Look at this drunk, he's just eating food. Probably having breakfast, maybe lunch. By the way, we were gonna do that tower, but it did go down. So just another reason to come back. Serengeti Flyer. This ride is new for me too. Oh, that's fun. Okay, nothing too crazy. It actually doesn't go completely upside down because there's a limit. I kind of wish it would go upside down, but like, who am I to touch? Yo, that, that's intense. <laughs> I want to go to Lions. You know where you are? No. <laughs> I we like we made it back in a circle from where we were before, and then he's like, "Oh, we're gonna go this way. Whole new side of the park." Told you, every corner, something new. A lot of uh, stuff to see. Hyena sleeping. He looks so at peace, like in the shade too. There's so many animals. <laughs> you got giraffes all the way in the distance, and you got a roller coaster to your right. Kind <laughs> <laughs> of sick. Yeah, and this layout's really it's interesting. Like, it's just safari. It's crazy. Look at this guy munching away. Yeah. I see a zebra as well. Our last ride of the day. It's fun though. It's a little less intense, but it spins you around. It's a good time. Hello. It feels weird we're so close to the track. Whee! Yeah, they use their uh, space well here, I feel like. More Christmas decorations! Definitely a top three for me, Cobra's Curse. 10 minute wait. I'm pretty sure this was my last ride last time when I did all the rides, but... Oh really? I think so, yeah, so it's funny. I'm excited Welcome. for this one. I've heard this is good a fun, things about it. It's a good time. Yeah. What we love to see. No land. No? You're going the right way. We just have to go through the queue, which I've actually never seen before. So spooky. It's giving Halloween. Going backwards. Oh, oh we're really are going backwards. Oh my god. Oh, we're spinning. Oh, oh this is so much fun. Having fun? That was a really fun time. We went up in an elevator. It was crazy. It's top there for me. You get to see all the zebras in the distance at oh, the yeah. safari. You're counting giraffes. Yeah. 
You know, we were debating if we do all the rides today, but I don't think we are. The park does close at six. It's so insane how empty it is here today. And I think that's just because, again, it's between seasons. It's the perfect time to come here. It, it literally says cheat is a zero minute way. I've never seen just, yeah, zero. Uh, this would have been the perfect day for all rides. And on that note, I don't think Bush Gardens has fallen off in any way. I don't think Bush Gardens is doing anything wrong. I just, you know, it's a little bit further out of the Orlando area. It's in Tampa, so it's harder to get here. But for the people who do decide to make the trek and come here, it's definitely worth it. This has been, you've enjoyed your first time oh here gosh, at Bush Gardens? Yeah, I definitely like want to come back. Like I would even consider getting a pass. Yeah. And like forcing myself to come back because I spent the money. Yeah. I mean, I definitely want to be here with some of the pals, get G here, grab a drink at the giraffe bar. Is it giraffe bar? Apparently, that's what I said back oh, there. Yeah, nice. we only scratched the surface. It's For me, it's been a while too, so I'm glad that we came out here today. It was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> They're huge. Like, look at that. Yeah, these guys could just completely devour us. They're so huge. They're, they don't even look real. They look like dinosaurs. Like these are the closest to the dinosaurs. Oh my goodness, golly. Crazy. That's literally insane. Like they're gigantic. 70% off 2023 <laughs> merchandise. Oh, that's kind of cool. My mom would be buying everything right yeah. now. <laughs> Buy your pen? <laughs> yeah, I could get. Oh, yeah. Do they have pens here? They have pencils. pencils. This is pens. Oh, yeah. We can get her a little bush garden set. What about the, with the journal? Ooh, uh, she, probably, she probably journals enough as it is. I like these snow globes though. These are cool. Krista. Stop. He's so cute. Look at him. He even looks kind of sad, like he needs a plan. A huge thanks to Bush Gardens for having me out this morning. Thank you. Thanks for coming with me today. Of course. And uh, thanks for watching guys. Remember today's a blessed day to be alive and hopefully we'll be back here soon and we'll see you in the next one.